All righty, I've just been doing some math. This guy on the wing, is, um, I've bent down and done a few experiments, and when I bend over, my butt to the end of my head is about a metre, pretty close to it, and when I bend over with a bent knee, um, my back is a metre. So one square metre, um, and you can see in this, this image, I've worked out um, it's about nine metres wide, um, and average is two and a half metres in the centre. So the top run, I've had to draw it out because the top flap, um, this, uh, anyway, we'll just go to the next video. See, this image here shows, um, that's closer to three metres from that bloody, um, that back wall. It's closer to three, but I've only allowed um, two metres in my calculations. Um, but if it's closer to three, that's a lot of extra fuel. And look at the height of that. That's a bloody big space. Now, the, the, this is the base. So nine by two metres uh, is definitely reasonable uh, for that space. Okay. So now um, 320,000 litres of fuel is actually 256 cubic metres of space because of fuel density. Anyway, we'll go back to this here. So the average height is two and a half metres. Uh, average width is two. Well, I think it's closer to three, which is total 45 square metres. 56,000 litres with fuel density. So now you've got two tanks. So basically you've got 112,000 litres at even if it's two metres. So then... If it is closer to three, we're over 160, half the fuel of 320, right, it starts to become plausible, you know. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, when these debunking videos come in, see, I'm a, oh, I wouldn't say, yeah, I topped the class in maths, mate. I, like, I, I was a sporty dude, and, um, yeah, I just got a, a thing that I like to work out. Math, maths is never wrong. You know, English is often wrong because there's interpretations, but maths is always an answer. And, you know, when you start to look at it, it's plausible.